you know, we believe that higher education is, is a right, it's a privilege. London is one of the most exciting cities in the world, and East London is the most exciting part of that city. There could be no better place to study. You don't have to travel outside East London to encounter every single culture in the world. You don't have to travel outside UEL to meet people from just about every culture in the world. I think that from my experience working at UEL, which is six years now, it's the most vibrant community I have ever worked in. Right. Yeah, it is a special place. I mean, it, it, it's very much around centering around our students, and, and our students are very special. Uh, we celebrate our students, and, and um, for many of them, this is their first experience, and anyone in their family, to higher education. And we recognise that, we provide a lot of support, we understand our students, we understand from the beginning to the end. In fact, we're you know, one of the best universities around for getting our students into work six months after they graduate, something we're very proud of. You know, it's, it's very much about making sure that what we provide for our students gives them something that will last them for the rest of their lives. I can actually remember my first day at university quite clearly. And the reason I remember it is because I felt lonely, I felt frightened, I felt daunted, I felt like a fish out of water. I missed my family, I didn't know where I stood, and I was surrounded by complete strangers. It was very, very difficult. It was a feeling as if Everybody around you knew exactly what they were doing and you were the only one that didn't. And it took a long time, in fact many years, to realise that I was surrounded by everyone else thinking exactly the same thing, that they were the only ones who didn't understand. So, I mean, I didn't actually go through higher education as a young person. I did my postgraduate degree once I actually started working here at UEL. Um, but I think it would it probably feels very similar to going for a new job or starting a new job. You're walking into an office, say, where you don't know anybody, everybody is strange, you don't know the work. Um, it makes you very, very nervous. I hadn't set foot in a classroom, for want of a better word, for some years, so it was all very, it was all quite new to me, having not been in any sort of form of education since, since school, really. I mean, I, I was really nervous, was really scared. You don't know anybody, you don't know physical location, you don't know what you're going to be taught, you don't know what to expect. Um, also quite excited. Well, I'm, I'm actually an ex-UEL student myself and I was also relatively new to the country when I, when I started at UEL, so it was quite a daunting experience initially. What I felt was literally um, how to reach certain uh, services in certain departments and it was very difficult. I felt totally overwhelmed with the amount of coursework you're suddenly given. You suddenly think, oh my god, I've got to do this. And it suddenly everything becomes real for you. What? I thought you were enrolling. I am enrolling. So where do you go? Uh, I think I know where it is. You guys looking to enrol, yeah? Yeah. It's just in the building over there? I'm doing it as well. I was just about to go over actually. Do you want to come? All right. Yeah. Going in, just remember seeing hundreds of people standing around queuing up for to kind of read all the information, work out exactly where you yourself were meant to be, where you needed to go, what time you needed to be there, what you needed to do. There was a lot it's kind of information overload on the first week. Obviously it was scary because all my friends that I've that I've known for years weren't gonna to come to university, so it's you're you're on your own. And certainly when I started, um, you were very much left to your own devices. There was very hardly any information came to you before you came. Uh, you had to read so many things yourselves, and if you've got no advice, no guidance, it was a very scary process. I still use those experiences over 38 years ago, almost, you know, to guide me through preparing for our students, which is what we're looking at at this very